Okay, this is going to be uh, problem 1.4. And we're given a um, situation where we have a uh, one kilometer uh, long um, single mode, or it supports a single mode uh, fiber, and our zero dispersion wavelength, uh, lambda sub d, uh, is going to be at 1.4 microns, or micrometers, however you want to say it, but it's, you know, it's typically called a micron. It's one millionth of a meter. Okay, and uh, we are given a dispersion parameter, big D, that is equal to 10. And remember the dispersion parameters expressed in units of time, uh, generally picoseconds. Uh, per length, which is kilometers, uh, per wavelength of light, which is uh, in nano measured nanometers. Okay. Okay, and it says we have uh, uh, two ND YAG lasers that are set uh, to uh, emit pulses with uh, wavelengths of 1.06 oh, and 1.32 microns, respectively. And it's going to be our task uh, to calculate, uh, based on the, the above given data, uh, to calculate our uh, arrival time of the two pulses and uh, first off we're reading the chapter in sequence okay this is a little tricky we go to the parameter uh, the walk-off parameter d little d one sub one two equals uh, beta one uh, uh, as a function of, of the first wavelength wavelength one minus beta one of wavelength two Okay, and remember the beta ones are just the reciprocals of the group velocity. Okay, and uh, and it even gives an example in the book uh, using a similar argument like this, but I think it's wrong, and I did this a different way. Now I'm still sort of in the woods about whether my solution is correct or not, uh, but when I calculated it using the walk-off length and then converted the, or I'm I'm sorry, the walk-off parameter, then converted walk-off parameter into the walk-off length and then converted a time difference between the pulses I actually got something that was really ridiculous okay so uh, going back to beta 1 here um, the beta 1 is calculated by using the group index over the velocity of light in the vacuum uh, or which is also 1 over the uh, like we said before, the group velocity of the packet I use the approach beta 1 is uh, n sub g over c instead and if we look at the graph here we can look at the measure of the dispersion parameter as a function of wavelength and the problem tells us that we have a linear uh, relationship for beta 2 between the wavelengths of 1 0.0 and 1.6 so going straight down then we can use the, the this per, the d parameter the relationship there that formula that we just saw and what I did is I actually went to the data um, uh, on the group index for a few silica um, and found a, I found the solution to the problem much easier this way and it made more sense so using using the group index for few silica um, if you've got 1.4625 uh, and uh, we've got our group index at 1.4625 1.
Okay, so using the uh, that pulse at 1.06 microns, we get a velocity in the fiber as uh, 205,000 uh, 128 kilometers per second. Okay. And for the uh, pulse at 1.32, we obtain uh, uh, going uh, to 205, I'm just not going to write that in, sorry, there, uh, 198 uh, kilometers per second, 205,198 kilometers per second, okay. And so just what I did is just take the difference of these guys. This obviously set uh, 70 kilometers per second. Uh, that would be the difference in the velocity of the two pulses. Now, um, the, the, what was tr what where it would trick you in the chapter a little bit was what you know is it's telling you use the uh, walk off parameter and then walk and then do walk off length and then convert walk off length into time. And it d gives you a nonsense answer, but if you do it this way and just subtract the two uh, group velo packet velocities in the fiber, and to just use the time step difference, so all you've got to do uh, using the velocity and light and vacuum, you can get um, 1.667 uh, times 10 to the negative 9 seconds, which is actually... Uh, 1.667 uh, nanoseconds, which turns out to be the difference in the two pulses traveling through the fiber. It's, that answer makes a lot more sense. Now, if we think about it, that's I mean that distance in practice or that time in practical measurements is not not prominent. But if you also consider that at the femtosecond scale, 10 to the negative 15 seconds, it would it would become very dominant.